Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp, Sweet Scoop, Flex Company, and Stitch Fix for sponsoring this week's episode. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of You Can Sit With Us. I am joined by Becky. Hi. Ariel. Hi. Rachel. Hello. And her two lovely daughters, June and Poppy. Do you guys want to say hello? Not today. <laughs> no. no. You can only see them on YouTube. They're not going to be speaking. They're feeling very shy right now. No. They can just sit with us. <laughs> and you <laughs> are. Oh, yes. And I'm Maggie. I completely, I always <laughs> mess that up, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, I'm Maggie, and I'm here as well. <laughs> I'm also sitting here. I'm also sitting here. Uh, Maggie rocking a very cute shirt today. Thank you so much. Her Everyone's huge. looking so cute today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Becky's Becky's rocking like a like a sporty outfit. Mm-hmm. You know, wear. I was it. told the air conditioning was still broken. Yeah, so I, I knew dressed that's why to you dressed. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's like I'm not ruining a nice dress. I'm just gonna wear my workout clothes. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> girl. Becky's rocking like a sexy 80s workout clothes yeah, like, yeah. Outfit. the, the yeah. white socks with the crisp yeah. white shoes yeah. as well it's really good <laughs> it's really working for me thank you super thank you. working for me <laughs> well anywho we were actually just talking about french braiding because the girls are here today mm-hmm. uh do you guys know how to french braid oh yeah mm-hmm. not yeah. at all oh mm-hmm. yeah Oh, not even a little bit. Rachel, we Sorry. could show you the baby only girl. person who has people to <laughs> practice on. <laughs> yes, please show me. Please show uh, me. It's a, hmm. an essential skill for having tiny girls. So. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And it's, yeah. Wow. Did you guys learn on yourselves or on other people? I think this is hilarious. My mom bought me a mannequin head when I was younger because I wanted to. Pr- no. I, I was obsessed with like doing fun things with my hair because my mom left early for work. So I was stuck with my dad. Uh-huh. <laughs> so she bought me a mannequin one time and I like practiced doing like all sorts of things, not only just braids, but yeah. Are you the like, oldest sister? I'm the second, but my okay. oldest sister didn't really care. And then my youngest sister was a tomboy, so she didn't care either. So I was like, me, it's all me. <laughs> it was actually good that you learned on a mannequin because they're harder to do than human hair because oh, they yeah. don't have a natural growth pattern. That's so true. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fascinating. Hi. Oh, hi, yeah. girls. You coming to chat? <laughs> Guys, you got to get on the YouTube for the hair yeah. tutorials. That's where I learned all. I can French braid. I can fishtail braid mm-hmm. well, fish dutch braid? braid i mean you okay. all you, the braid like, well, had all the practice over. in school right no we only had in makeup school it was only like a three-week course on hair so braiding was literally like one day yeah but i just learned in high school on youtube i think i learned on pinterest mm-hmm. it was like five braids that mm-hmm. you must know like and rotate so i was like that's how <laughs> have you ever guys watched the messy bun tutorials on youtube those are the ones they've definitely evolved but like mm-hmm. back in the day when there was like maybe five top ones you'd watch it and you're like what the fuck did she just do she's like first you move your hand like this and it's like oh yeah i need to <laughs> film those things in slow motion yeah. guys yeah. film them high speed i can't follow it <laughs> i feel like most of those people must have so much hair mm-hmm. because oh, yeah. i try to do that with my hair and it turns out in just like a little like blip <laughs> you know like yeah like long hair and thick so they can do whatever they want with it i'm i'm like okay i need like extensions for this like put in some more hair and then i could make like a top thing you're right <laughs> once i pull it all up there's just like a little there's troll nothing poof left. yeah yeah. Here. <laughs> yeah there's I got nothing the troll to poof. to make a bun out of yeah i taught myself how to french braid on myself uh and i taught myself backwards Oh, you know, what the you inside mean, outward. <gasps> there's oh, inside out Dutch and there's braid. right side oh, in. Yeah. 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 And apparently like Becky Dutch braid versus Dutch a braid. French braid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. And in the UK, they call it plats. 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 Yes, I like plats. plats. Right. <laughs> um, I think you were the one who told me this. Dutch braid is better because you don't get as many creases, was it? <gasps> oh, no. yeah. If you're doing um, like if you're going to sleep in a braid, mm-hmm. if you sleep in a French braid, it's going to be tighter and like. Kind of crimpy. the bumps are going to go in. But if you do a Dutch braid, which is the braid that's like sticking out of your head. So Dutch braid like tucks in. Yeah. Or sorry, so, French braid so tucks French in. French braid, it tucks Dutch under, sits on top. And mm. a Dutch braid almost looks like a, a fishtail sitting on your head. But that one will not give to you be more beachy wave. Yeah. Not to be confused okay. with a fishtail braid, yeah. which is very yeah. different. Mm-hmm. That's like a bunch of tiny pieces. Yeah. I have no idea how yeah. to do that. <gasps> it's so easy. It's like fishtail once you figure out what your fingers need to do it's literally just separating your hair into two pieces and taking the under piece and moving it to the front just mm-hmm. over and over like, and over and keep, over 
How do they not all just fall apart and like go back to where they were in your hands? Because you're holding them. You have to mm-hmm. use tension. Yeah. I mean, same like with, it's like tying knots, mm-hmm. you know? It's like tying knots. <laughs> do you tie a lot Becky of knots, make, Becky? Becky make a really good <laughs> eagle sailor. scout. Yeah. Yeah. Really good sailor. <laughs> <laughs> I did just learn about a surgeon's knot on TikTok. Have you oh, heard of that? No. no. So it's like you tie a regular knot, but then you just add one more under to it and then you pull it and it's supposed to be a better that's how like they do super like, tight that's how they do sutures or something i mean it doesn't look like the way they do it on gray's anatomy but <laughs> <laughs> huh. it looked like a very tight knot do you Was think those like actors a- uh went through like knot training <gasps> probably you think yeah. i assume some of it isn't even their hands oh yeah oh yeah oh, for why sure, are they I mean? paying ellen pompeo to like get that close-up hand shot yeah. they're not they they've wrapped her for the day yeah <laughs> and they can reuse like um the knot models like because there's so much medical stuff going on oh there, yeah you could just use female hands versus male hands you only just need two on site i guess yeah. that's true yeah we need uh can you imagine the um the job posting for that doctor's <laughs> hands yeah we need somebody who knows how to do doctor things and yeah. has nice well, hands. Who knows i wonder how to if they have her. a doctor consultant who's just mm-hmm. always on set you know who's yeah. a part of the writer's room or something who then could also do some of the surgical stuff also they're probably always they, they could have nasty nasty hands but they're under gloves yeah. oh true. That's, that's true, true. That's, right? true. that's true damn yeah mm-hmm. yeah no way no way is it it's not Ellen's hands. No, 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 no. She's in her nice trailer somewhere. <laughs> oh, you guys were not on site for um, for the guys parking uh, semi trucks. That's going to oh, yeah. be coming out soon. Uh, the guys had one of those like way high end trailers, like the ones yeah. that, mm-hmm. that like Mandy Moore has on This Is Us, where <laughs> she you know she'll she'll do her her Instagram uh, reel of like her getting her her old person makeup, and it takes like <laughs> hours and hours and hours. And I I promise you, this was the same trailer that she has. <laughs> it's like it's Mandy's trailer. It's, it's seriously it's the, it it has a whole um, dressing and and makeup area Ooh. on like one end, and then there's a desk. So that you could like work, and then it has um, it has like a sink and a and a bathroom uh-huh. in it, like running water. Um, wow! It was like fully air conditioned. <laughs> Most had, of the trailers have running water. Well, okay, <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, I just imagine. I mean, the guys usually are you know sitting under a pop up somewhere. Yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah. You know, just basting in the heat. Um, but uh, um, it had like a a, a big sofa area that was really nice and oh, it had fun. um yeah it was just like mirrors everywhere it was great it was wow. really re- i was like damn okay <laughs> yeah no. it sounds like today we have a lot in store on the pod we have an advice question guys we've got some advice that's needed mm. okay. and now is this from advice it'll go for miles miles uh, no it's different to the you can okay yeah. can um, we because i do, can we give advice on advice that will go for miles uh, that is I'll take it <laughs> well that's miles is <laughs> because i was listening to the tripod the other day and it sounded like uh people are sending questions to advice that'll go for miles and they say i don't know whether miles should answer this or that you can sit with us girls can answer that's what i'm saying miles can give some advice but he doesn't have the female perspective (laughs) (laughs) you think you can give the female perspective miles Uh, well why don't we see okay well let's let's we should question and see what miles thinks let's punt this to a future episode but we should have an advice off (gasps) who gives the better better advice advice? But who's going to judge? Whoever asked the question, maybe. I don't oh. know. I don't. I haven't thought this through. This is just off the top of my head. But I think we could go head to head with Miles on an advice off. Mm. All right. All maybe right. we answer the same questions on both podcasts and let the audience decide. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. We'll th- we'll we'll workshop it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put a pin in it for now. <laughs> put a pin in that. All right, guys. This question and very small. I feel like a grandma. I'm like. And here we go. <laughs> Put it up to my face. My name is, hmm. <laughs> and I'm 20 years old and I just dated, started dating this guy. We've been seeing each other for a bit over a month now. And I know this might be stupid. Oh, it's never a stupid girl. But I know that I'm in love with him. I've never felt this way about anyone and can't really describe how I feel about him. I really want to say it, but from some of my friends don't think I should say it first or too early. I don't know what to do. What are your thoughts? Also, when did you know that you loved your partner? 
Mm. And then she talked about how much she loves us. Oh, um, I think she has an easy time saying, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> She's ready. She said it twice in the email. <laughs> there are just, there are some people who have a lot of love to give. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think, love. I think that's okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give your love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give oh, your yeah. love. And, uh, okay, you guys go first because I because you know. <laughs> Ariel I have feelings on this predictable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I actually feel like maybe you should go first. Yeah, mm-hmm. you think I should go first? Yeah, because okay. you're go the one it. that this. Uh, you, you've when done you know, it. you know. <laughs> That's how I feel. You know, I am also a person that has a lot of love to give. Um, <laughs> I love. I am a hugger. Mm-hmm. I I say I love you to everybody because I truly do be a lot of things that are stressful in the world right now. Going back into quote unquote normal life, your everyday work commute, the weather, family struggles, and BetterHelp is here for you. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can connect in a safe and private online environment and you can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not self-help, it's professional counseling done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise available and it's more affordable than traditional counseling. Anything you share is confidential. They offer licensed professional counselors who specialize in depression, stress, relationships, sleeping, trauma, family conflicts, and many more. So many people have been using BetterHelp, including us. They're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. I want you to start living a happier life today. And as a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash sit with us. Join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash sit with us. think that the that, that life is for spreading love and uh you know it is okay if you if you feel like you love this person and you want to be in a relationship with them saying i love you should not scare them off you know mm-hmm. uh i i also have not been in the dating world for a very long time you know this worked out very well for me yeah. as you can Ariel see is a, um, it's a limited pool of data but it was highly successful yeah. highly highly <laughs> successful for me um 100 success yes, rate 100% i'm saying i love you very early saying, you. um uh ned and i moved in together after four months we went on mm-hmm. a an inter a three-week international trip at uh six months and then we got engaged at nine months. So, um, you know, I, I, I recommend this timeline. This is, this is, a, <laughs> this, this works for everyone. Um, no, uh, don't do what I did. No, you do what I did. If it, if, <laughs> if, if you know, you know, that's, that's what I think. Um, but, but please. <laughs> Dying here, but please give me the good advice. I would run for the hills if someone said, I love you a month in. I would be like, too much. This no. is too much. You don't even know me. What's my what's my middle name? What's right. my social? What's <laughs> I'm with you. If I you have can't to say my social on a piece of paper for me. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna say. It. I can't <laughs> even put my social on a piece. No, I can. You can't. Yeah, I can. <laughs> but I couldn't when I was 20. Mm. You couldn't when you were 20. No, probably not. Girl, I had to look friend. it up. Girl. Look it up. To look it up yeah. on what? <gasps> it wasn't on your phone, was it? It's my phone. I keep a lot of things on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I Ladies do. and gentlemen of the podcast, do not keep your social security number oh, on no. your phone <laughs> anywhere. Sorry. <laughs> I had a little sticky note when I was like 15 or 16 for when I was doing Just job applications. Yeah. yeah. But then once you fill it in enough, you're like, okay, I got I it in this. here. I got this. No, I'm yeah, pretty I'm sure not. my parents made me yeah. memorize it. Oh. Yeah. I have my license memorized too. That oh, one you that's can, a hard one. You're gonna I have around. like four of the same digits in mine all next to each other. So it was really. What are they? Ready? <laughs> got a pencil? Got a pencil? <laughs> I think one month of knowing someone, whether it is the love story of your life or not, it's only infatuation. You don't love them. You're completely smitten and infatuated and you <laughs> might love them. But like, I don't know that you know that. Like, I think even mm-hmm. my love story, yours, you know what I mean? Well, yeah. Or maybe you don't because you're... <laughs> Still Loves. infatuated with yeah. my husband. What about you, Mags? No. Yeah. Do you want to say bye, Poppy? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, go this way. When did you tell Zach that you loved him? I don't remember the exact, like, how long it was in, but I want to say it was at least six-ish months. Really? I was really scared to, like, scare Zach away because he was <gasps> not a good texter. 
He was horrible at responding to text messages, but was awesome in person. And I was like, does this guy hate me? I'm not used to like people <laughs> sucking at texting. Oh. It would sometimes like very early on, it would be like two or three days. And I was like, <gasps> is everything two or okay? Three, two or three days. days. Do you yeah. think maybe he was worried that he was going to scare you off? Maybe. Because yeah. I know. I remember two or in the three early days. days, he was pretty pretty smitten oh, yeah. yeah and that's and a long time he was Our very dates. scared that he, he's, he's like there's this girl that's like way out of my league <laughs> and i really don't want to like do anything wrong so maybe he was, I trying, to play play cool. Cool. Maybe he was yeah. trying to play cool he said he wasn't like into games or anything like that i was on night shift at the time so maybe he was nervous of texting me but i remember like sitting there on night shift i'm like man this guy sucks at texting <laughs> <laughs> Betty, he was probably sleeping <laughs> <laughs> it's like 3 a.m and he's like <laughs> the hell? What the hell? I texted you two hours ago. (laughs) Yeah. So I think it was later on. And Mm -hmm. then now, like after we said, I love you, we had like a discussion how we didn't want to overuse that word because there was like when we first started saying it, you describe overusing it, like saying it when there's like empty space or like you're about to leave. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love you. Okay. This. Okay. Oh, you don't like doing that. Mm mm. Okay, even now. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, Got it. Yeah. So you only say it when you're like, I'm deeply in love with you. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Or maybe not as deeply in love with you, but like I just feel like I don't want it to just become, hi, how's it going? I don't mm-hmm. want it to be like a how's it going. I don't, don't want, want it to be a part of it. Yeah. 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 I, get that. I get that. I'm the exact opposite. Mm-hmm. I am so morbid. I think everyone's going to die all the time. Oh. Yeah. I'm like, well, hanging up with my friend. Bye. Love, love you. you. Yeah. That's the last time I talked to him, now they know. <laughs> yeah. I'm not that morbid, but I do say it like that too. I just, I don't, I just love a lot of people. Yeah. And I say it. I feel, I feel a lot of love. Yeah. I also, so sometimes Ned and I use it, uh, like when we're angry with each other or like a little bit stressed. Well, not, Aww. not, not as like in a, a fight. No, 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 not, I not in like you. a fighting way, not in like a fighting way, but like, you know, just to remind each other that, that like we're on the same team, you know, like mm. almost oh, like, uh, like, that is smart. you know, just, we don't have as much time, uh, right now to, to like have those, you know, conversations where if one of us it, it disagrees with something or something like that, we, we don't have the time to like sit down and hash it out. And so, so we have been kind of leaving things, uh, like floating, and, and maybe there's like some feelings kind of floating between us. Mm-hmm. And, and so, you know, if, if like Ned's leaving for work and we're kind of in the middle of an argument or something like that, I'll be like, Hey, I love you. You know, like, mm. like, Hey, Aww. just, just remember Like you can get through the day. We'll, we're going to figure this out. You know, like yeah, that's mm-hmm. same team. Yeah. Like yeah, that's like that. yeah, same team, same team. Like yeah. we're on the same team. Mm-hmm. Uh, just remember that we still, there, there is love between us. <laughs> you <know? laughs> like, You're feeling really mad right now, <laughs> but I really love you a lot. Yeah. yeah. So I'll see you and it'll be okay. Yeah. yeah. I f- that's I, very I feel like, sweet. I feel like we have been using it like that a fair amount where it's just like, Hey, I'm here for you. Mm-hmm. I love you. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. like a support this. term. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like yeah, a support That's very term. sweet. Yeah. I like that. That's yeah. Good. I mean, we use it in the nice way too. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely have felt that before where you have that like sort of you feel a certain way for one person, um, but you're worried that they don't feel the same and you're worried that it's going, that, that your feelings for them are, is going to, are going to kind of scare them off. Mm. I think that the, the push or not the pushback, like the fear when someone is too into you than you are of them, then you already have that pressure that you're going to hurt their feelings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what? I think it's a little bit of guilt. Maybe interesting, yeah. but there's a balance. I've been there before. Like, Cause yeah. as soon as someone tells you that they love you and you don't feel the same, it's automatically in your head. Oh. Like, Oh no, I have to hurt this person's feeling at right. some point. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's what freaks people out. You don't, know, Love means a lot of things to a lot of different people. And, Mm -hmm. you know, so for like you were saying, Rach, that that if you've only known this person for about a month, this this love, you know, perhaps it's not the long term love that you are thinking about. Perhaps it's more of an infatuation. And so explaining that far. Yeah, could be. Yeah. But like explaining that to this this significant other and kind of saying, like, I have really strong feelings for you, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. like maybe not saying the word love because that is 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 a very loaded word. Mm -hmm. Um, But 
it, but expressing your feelings for this person yeah. and saying, you know, like to me, it feels like, you know, like to me, this is love, but, but to you, you know, th- these are just very strong feelings. And I just want you to know that I have strong feelings for you. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm. It's no secret that the internet loves cats. There's a cat on Instagram with 4.3 million followers. That's as much as Dolly Parton. We are so excited to partner with Sweet Scoop. Their renewable wheat-based litter gives cat lovers a better choice for their pets, their family, and the environment. Traditional cat litter is made with clay, so it's like mined, and it's not very good for the environment. It's not great for you to breathe or for your cat to breathe. So I love that Sweet Scoop uses a sustainably sourced wheat. For over 25 years, Sweet Scoop has provided a litter that works great without compromising on what matters. It's better for cats. 100% natural ingredients and 99.5% dust free. It's better for people, odor neutralizing, enhanced clumping and low tracking, and it's better for the planet. Clay litter is sourced by strip mining, as Becky said, which has a hugely negative impact on the environment. Sweet Scoop is made of renewable farmer grown ingredients and is 100% biodegradable. Stuck between litter that works and litter that's pet and planet friendly? Sweet Scoop doesn't make you choose. Go to sweetscoop.com to get a $5 off coupon and find a retailer near you. That's S W H E A T scoop.com. I don't know. That reminds me of, um, do you ever see the classic film, early 2000s, Win a Date with Tad Hamilton? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no. A, a young This will Catherine be another. Um, <laughs> I'm going to add it. It's very different than Dante's people. All right. Are. Okay. <laughs> after after this question, we're going to talk about Becky's amazing movie recommendations. <laughs> uh, you so, should go on Guilty Pleasures. <laughs> I would if I was asked. <gasps> not you, saying my mom. Not saying my mom's been texting me asking when I'm going to appear. But yeah. I also feel yeah. like I should have been asked. I thought oh, I, I overheard he did ask. I you hear for he's bad at texting Gossip people. Girl. So no. yeah, he's well, he's really bad at texting. Like two days before, and it's not my guilty pleasure. Mm. So mm. too bad, Zach. Mm. Sorry, my schedule might be a little full now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a little full with other podcasts. <laughs> um, no, but when a day with it had Hamilton was young, like, uh, what's his name from that 70s show that looks like Toby Maguire, Topher Grace, Topher Grace and Josh Dumel, Kate Bosworth and a young Catherine Hahn. Mm-hmm. And I think Jennifer Goodwin. Oh. So the second time she's come up on this wow. podcast. Oh. She's like a jack of all traits, but she talks about Catherine Hahn says at the end of the movie, like there's, I think it's three different kinds of love. There's like you know, the puppy dog mm-hmm. love that you'll get over. There's another medium love. And then there's big love. Like you're like earth shattering, world ending, can never live without this person love. Mm-hmm. And I, was, I was like, ah, I love that. <laughs> I love yeah. that too. Wait, so yeah. what's, what's the middle one? I think it was just like, like a good love. Just like companionship. Companionship. Yeah. yeah. Cause she was kind of into Topher Grace. And mm. she was talking about how she like loved him, but she knew that, you know, they were never going to be together. Mm, interesting. Kind of the gist of it. Would mm. the middle one be like brothers and sisters? No, she was talking about sexual love, I think, oh, okay. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> In all these cases. In all the cases, I think it was like, or not sexual, but romantic. <laughs> romantic love. I was like, that took a real turn. Sexual love. <laughs> yeah, romantic love. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. I remember hearing the term like agape. That was a type of love. You guys agape. didn't learn. What was no. agape? Oh, I forget which one was agape, but there was like agape. different types of love. And you said it was religion. I learned about the types of love in religion. Not saying that love is religious, oh. but <laughs> like, like in in like Catholic school. Uh huh. What? It's agape. Greek. Greek Go is on for agape. It's fatherly love. Oh, it is religious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the love that a heavenly father has <laughs> for his many, agape many children on earth. Is <laughs> unconditional love. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, it's the love for God. Hmm. Uh, for oh. man. <laughs> and the man for God. Okay, it is really just hey, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shit. oh <laughs> man. Oh, with rats. <laughs> I think that love changes over a relationship as well. Oh yeah. You know, you you can feel all three in a day. Or you can feel all three in over ten years. You know, it's mm-hmm. it doesn't have to it's I I don't think that love is is linear either. I think it's I think it it comes in waves and it, uh, you know, it, it, it can wash over you sometimes and other times you could be in a drought and, uh, I don't know. It's yeah. Mm -hmm. It, 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 
it's not uh, it, it's not constant, mm-hmm. you know, uh, but I think that when you do feel that big love for somebody, uh, you 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 will always remember that feeling. And so the love never goes away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and I, and that's how I think about marriage is like, yes, you you feel uh, you 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 feel love. Uh, how do I say this? You feel more love sometimes at, at you know, sometimes than others. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. but, uh, but you, you know what that love feels like for that person. And so, uh, so it never goes away completely. Mm-hmm. And if it does, then, you know, that's when you, you need to talk to somebody. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that was sweet. <laughs> Ew, that's so nice. <laughs> I think that's how, you know, friend love works too. Yeah. yeah. You know, when you like, when you have a really, really good friend and you feel that big love for them, um, you could not see them for a little while and, uh, and you know, you could kind of, uh, not keep up with them. But then when you see them again, you remember what it felt like to feel that love for them and, Mm -hmm. and everything is the same. Yeah. So true. Carol, I feel like you need to write those like motivational posters that (laughs) have the therapist's office or like the doctor's (laughs) cards. Are you listening? If only a side hustle, Erin. I I feel feel like I can make an Etsy shop with some of these like nuggets of wisdom. I feel like I'm very much an idea person, but I can never get my idea like once the ideas come out, they Mm -hmm. never come back. You know, do you guys ever have that? You let them go. Yeah, they're like yeah. they're they're in the ether now, and and like that yeah. they'll never come back into my head. Yeah. It's usually and while so, you're falling asleep. Yeah, you're like, oh, I have the yeah. best ones well, in the shower. Remember the that. best ones when you you're falling asleep. You yeah, yeah. See, I'm the opposite. I'll take an idea and I'll think about it for years, oh. years. Days. Guys, I've been fleshing out a Pixar movie for the last like eight years. <gasps> but oh. tell me, you've written some of this down. You haven't written down the Pixar it, mover. Um, Keith's Keith's still helping me work out the kinks. Eugene put some input on to to you know yeah, make it more okay. humanized. But okay. I'll just tell you it's about uh, stoplights. <laughs> <laughs> Are wow. these it's a short. It's a short. Are these <laughs> like stoplights with feelings? Are they per- okay? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Multi generational story. I I would love that. <laughs> Ends wow. in the Smithsonian. What? Oh, I can't Becky. say too much because someone's gonna take it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I I mean. With these nuggets, I feel like somebody <laughs> could take off with it, but nobody's gonna, nobody's got your brain. Nobody's gonna no go, one with, no know. one knows the plot. Yeah. Come on, see, multi-generational like stoplights. you in the shower and you're like, oh yeah, I think the stoplight should see this. And then you're like, <laughs> oh, no, you guys don't have any like big ideas that you've been working on for years that you remember from like college. I think that's just you. <laughs> not in a like scripted not. way in my head. Yeah. No. Like a running that's list. And I'll just add uh-huh. to it every once in a while. Uh-huh. Where do you keep your list? I don't know. In the part of my brain that's supposed to be used for math, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think whatever part of your brain's supposed to be used for like math and science, mine has been overtaken. Overtaken. <laughs> by Pixar. Yeah, by, by Pixar. Pixar. Pixar short. Okay. So yeah. when are you going to call a meeting and we can like Pitch. put it into production? <laughs> Girl, you can't nice. just hold on to the list for your whole life. I well, I want it to be the perfect, the perfect movie. And the initial reaction to the stoplight story isn't always, isn't always. The I think it sounds <laughs> awesome. You know, I feel like I should tell you. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's amazing. Me with Ariel, yeah. she would like pump me up. She'd be like, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. I'm all about Let's the stoplights. Oh my goodness, <laughs> like. Stop, let's see everything. Those things live yes, there for a hundred years. Yes, yes, they do. You know, the same, <laughs> do see everything. The same grandma it. that drives by every day. You know, the, 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 the woman Ariel, that drives by afraid? with her. She's, she's, a, she's a young girl driving by with her mom. Then she drives by with her coffee. She's going to work. Oh. And then she drives by with her kids. Yeah. And then she drives when by with her When you see her doctor's a lab coat. And you're like, come on. Come on! <laughs> and then maybe you're at the Smithsonian. The Smithsonian is <laughs> everything. Oh, I love it. I love it. Thank you. I'm, I'm right That's there with you, Becky. Want. I'm right there maybe with you. Not that original. <laughs> No, idea. it's that this is this is a great idea. It's college. No, it's an excellent idea. Years now. I I would watch this movie and I would cry immediately. I I, I can already tell it's a tearjerker. Oh, oh, thank you. With the doctor Thanks, coat, it feels I mean, like on. part up, part inside out. Uh-huh, part, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. The Giving Tree, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is totally the Giving Tree. No wonder I'm thinking about crying. <laughs> the Giving Tree. There it is. Love mm. the Giving Tree. If you want a period product that looks out for your body, 
your lifestyle and the planet, you've got to try Flex. Flex is innovating period care with products that are body safe, made for comfort, and made to keep you moving. There's the Flex Disc, which is a one-time use menstrual disc that fits perfectly inside your body. And if you want to go zero waste and have the planet love you even more, pick up the Flex Cup, my favorite, a reusable menstrual cup that Cosmo rated number one. The patented pull tab makes Flex the only cup on the market that removes like a tampon. It's so easy, you already know how to use it. I've been using a cup for years and I absolutely love that it's so easy. I don't have to change anything every like three hours or whatever it is with tampons. I can just pop it in, wait till the nighttime, take it out. It's super easy to clean. So say goodbye to period cramps, put sex back on the table and lend mother nature a hand. Go to flexfits.com slash sit with us and use code sit with us for 20% off flex disc starter kits or 10% off your first flex cup plus free US shipping. That's code sit with us at flex f l e x fits.com slash sit with us all right so for those of you out there who've not read the giving tree which i feel like everybody needs to read this at some point maggie do you want to give us am i the only one who doesn't like the giving tree i don't think i've read the giving tree i have not reopened it since i was probably a child okay go ahead give me give me your what's it about give us um i mean it's it's a tearjerker it really is it is i cry every time so it starts with this big beautiful apple tree um and this little boy who likes to play with the tree climbs. he climbs the tree he eats apples from the tree he you know he he carves his initials and he's like you know it, like ned loves tree you know and uh <laughs> um yes in this in in this story ned is the boy um, ned loves no, tree. it doesn't have to be ned but let's, don't do that to ned. let's say let's say the kid's name is billy so billy loves the tree and uh mm-hmm. and then billy gets older mm-hmm. um so so it's it's really it's a story about how uh or at least to me it's a story about how like as you get older you sort of like lose these childhood things Mm -hmm. um, but then you come back to them and so Billy gets a little bit older and he finds a girlfriend and uh, they go and they like make out in the shade of the tree and Billy crosses out tree and he says you know like Billy loves Angela oh I do remember this Mm -hmm. I do okay Uh, I remember how this story the tree the tree the tree (laughs) still the the, the tree is like I'm here for you I will provide shade for this relationship I you know this is great for me I love you Mm -hmm. you know I I'm, I'm all about this. And then he gets a little bit older and he goes off for a while, you know, for a long time. And then he comes back and he's like, you know, I have no money. And she's like, oh, well, I have apples. So take my apples and and go go make money with them. And uh, and so he goes and he, so so he takes all of her apples and he goes to the market and he sells them and he makes a bunch of money. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, he he's away for a long, long time. And so, you know, like a lot of the stories about the tree being sad because he's been away for so long. He's, he's like not spending time with her. And so, uh, and so then he comes back 20 years later and, uh, now he's made money Mm -hmm. and he's married and he's like, you know, I, I, I want to build a house for my family. Um, and, but, but I, I don't know how to build a house. And so she's like, well, I have branches. Why don't you use my wood to, to build your house? Um, you know, no. like I, I want to, I want to, to provide that for you. I am so happy to give you this. And so he's like, great. Uh, and so, it, but, and, and I think that's the part that, that Rachel doesn't love. And I don't love that either because he, he, he's like, awesome. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> like thanks, I will bro. take your apples. I will take your branches, mm-hmm. you know? And so he takes all the, he, he takes all the branches and now the tree is like a, a shell, mm-hmm. you know, she has no branches. And then he comes back and he's middle-aged and he's like, my family has grown. I want to go travel. And she's like, well, um, you know, take my trunk and build a boat and and go travel. And so now she's a stump. And then when he finally comes back, he's an old, old man. And he's like, you know, my 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 wife is gone and I'm sad and I, I don't have any energy to do anything anymore. And, you know, I just I just want to sit. And she's like, well, you know, I'm a stump now. So you, you can, can sit, you can on sit here. And, I know, uh, Becky. And then, oh, and then I know. he sits. My God, <laughs> Becky. What and then do you he think? sits, and and I think it ends, uh. and it's like he sits, and the tree is happy. <gasps> yeah, the tree is happy. Okay, wait. I the think we have happy. gone full circle right now, though. While you were describing this book, mm-hmm. it's kind of like when you tell someone you love them, you're giving them a gift, right? Uh oh. But if that gift is not reciprocated, you're just going to keep giving and giving and giving. That's so true. Until you don't have anything more to give, and then they sit on your little stump head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So don't yeah. let don't let people sit on your stump head, guys. And don't yeah. give up yourself for someone you love. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm. Billy needed to make it on his own in the world. Absolutely. Yeah. The fact that he continued to take and like, never give and never, no. ever give. That's yeah. not love. I mean, no. I could like I can see how this book did so well because it's it's a real te- tearjerker and the kid did come back in the end, you know, and so like if he had nowhere else to go, if you think about it as like, you know, um, a mother and a child, like, you know, there's the, you, you give a lot to kids That's and true. And like, and you feel like you're constantly giving and what they're giving you back is love and affection. And like your kids may be gone for a long period of time, uh, that's true but i'm remaining a whole human being right. unto myself mm-hmm. who has her own life yeah as well and that's why i think it's problematic now you know because yeah. you and i feel very similarly about this we're yeah. like you know but like there are many moms out there who feel like they just kids gave are, up everything yeah, for that their, their kids, kids are just yeah are everything mm-hmm. yeah. And, th- and that's not wrong either but no. You know. Also, if you if you stay home and not work, you're yeah. still oh yeah, a I don't you're still a whole person. person. Yeah, I don't think it's work yeah. or no work. I think it's just like, are you? Do you feel like you get to maintain a sense of self separate mm-hmm. from your children? It's not easy. <laughs> home, <laughs> work, wherever. I do, and, and or even like not in the perspective of children. It, do you remain yourself in a relationship? Yeah, that too. You know, when any you, relationship. When you are Love. are committing yourself to to one mm-hmm. to, to another person, like you you do kind of have to work at remaining a you know a person mm-hmm. unto yourself. Yeah, mm-hmm. the codependency yeah. of Billy is not good, mm. or mm-hmm. I mean, of the tree too. Like she, and the tree. she yeah. was not happy if Billy was and not the there. The tree was happy. You know, like no. there was there was no. There was, I, I feel like an updated version of that book could be like, you know, and while Billy was gone, the tree was, you know, like feeling the wind in her leaves and just like, you know, living her just best vibing. life. Sprouting yeah. new apples, uh, inviting yeah. some birds over. Some yeah. bees to pollinate some her. Some bees yeah. to pollinate. Yeah, just like pollinating like crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's also interesting that it's called The Giving Tree, but it's from the perspective of the taking boy. I know. It, it actually, okay. it was, it was very much from the this. perspective of the tree. Like, oh, it was from yeah, the perspective, yeah. from the of, perspective the of the tree. Okay. That's um, right, because you don't go off with the boy. You don't go off with the boy. You're always there oh, with the tree. Okay. You're always like, there with the tree. Is it a long book? No. No. It, no. Short. It's like no. kids. It's a picture it's like, book. It's long no, no, no. for like, like only a from two the year old. Of the tree. <laughs> it's long for like a two year old, but not long for. It's a picture book. It's a picture book. Oh, okay. Yeah, it should be called The Taking Boy. Yeah. yeah. Like when I think, maybe this isn't a good analogy, but I saw a tweet or something recently that was like, it should not be that women were sexually assaulted. It should be that men sexually assaulted someone. And I was like, that's true. Intr- yeah. You know, like the, rape didn't just happen. Someone chose to do mm-hmm. something. Like mm-hmm. it's not like, it right. shouldn't be from the perspective of the victim. I don't know. I feel like it should be called the taking boy petition to change the name of the giving tree to the shell Silverstein. We got to talk about this book. Oh, <laughs> shell. It was shell. It's shell. Oh, we have a shell. shell. Did it rhyme? Was it a rhyme book book? over here too? It might've been. It might've been. Yeah, maybe. But a rhymer. I don't know. Well, I am so ready to get back outside, but my closet says otherwise get some much needed style updates with the help of stitch fix. Stitch Fix offers clothing hand-selected by expert stylists for your unique size, style, and budget. It's a completely different and fun way to find clothes that you will love to wear. Every piece is chosen for your fit and your life, and it's the easy solution to finding what makes you look and feel your best. Try on pieces at home before you buy, keep your favorites, and then send back the rest. Stitch Fix has free shipping, easy returns and exchanges, and a prepaid return envelope is included. So I tried Stitch Fix and I loved how easy it was. I was like, these really kind of refreshed my wardrobe. They were colorful, something I wouldn't pick out at the store myself. It was so easy to just keep the stuff I loved and send back the stuff that I didn't like. Stitch Fix has styles and clothing to fit any occasion for women, men, and kids. They ship all over the US and are available in the UK as well. Get started today at stitchfix.com slash sit with us and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitchfix.com slash sit with us for 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. Stitchfix.com slash sit with us. The Giving Tree. Maybe we should rewrite it almost like, uh, you know, those um, 
What is it? Should we do fan fiction for the giving tree? Yeah, right. <laughs> oh Wait, god. What are, what are those books? What are those books like? Fan fiction is uh, not always sexy. Pride and Prejudice and Vampires <laughs> or something. <laughs> you know those oh, yeah. those rewritten books that mm-hmm. are like yeah. I those think we could fun. redo that. The Taking, Taking Boy, Boy or the relationship where both people maintain a sense of self and come together out of joy and love and yeah. no one no one needs to they both take and they both give and it, yeah no I'm one gonna, needs to be a depleted stump at the end. I kind of do want to hear this from the perspective of the tree in like what's she doing for those twenty years? You yeah, know? like mm-hmm. she's just living her best life, mm-hmm. like being a tree, just being a tree. You know, Anything. like yeah. yeah, she she had some parts of her life taken from her, but. You know, like she adapts mm-hmm. and like, you know, it was a thing. bigger story about deforestation. Ooh. Do you think oh. Shell knew? Just making a commentary Shell knew. It. it was actually an environmental commentary about how we take, take, take from the earth. Take, yeah. Take, take, take. Yeah. I wouldn't be and surprised. And then we die before we can see the results of what we've done. Mm-hmm. What we've Oof. done. Is that what Oof. the giving tree is about? That hits me. Mm-hmm. That hits me hard. Welcome to our book review could... club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're going to take children's books and we're going to make them awful <laughs> we're gonna there, make them sad there are a lot of problematic children's books you know there I, are yeah <gasps> yeah you know a book i loved as a kid the one about do you ever read that everybody poops oh, oh yeah everybody yeah. poops mm, and you had it. different kinds everybody of poops. animal poops. Poops. kid that's been around since you were a kid yeah i felt like it was new oh everybody poops Pharaoh gomi everybody poops everybody uh, farts is a spinoff yeah, is oh, which one? Oh, which one's the one with the elephant booty as the cover? And, uh, everybody farts. Everybody, everybody, everybody poops. poops. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I read everybody poops. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Everybody poops. So fun fact: one time when I was little, I chose not to poop mm. for a long time. <laughs> I think I've heard this story. I and think I've heard this like, story. I've told it. Maybe, maybe, maybe How? your mom told this story, or maybe you told I'd this go story. To the doctor. <laughs> Like um, a week? I don't know. I was like two or three. You guys you, know I don't like bathrooms. Okay. Did you did you tell this story or did your mom tell so this story? So here's a funny thing. I have told me definitely about it. heard this. But I probably told you about it yeah. when we're okay. talking about like Wes pooping or something. Here's something we're doing with the girls, which is that we're like in pre-potty training and we take okay. their poopy diapers and we put it in the potty now so that we that can clog the potty so they can see it. Um, and we say, bye poop, go for a nice poop swim because we're trying to make it friendly and not gross. <laughs> we got to go back. It's you take the poop out of the diaper. Yes. Yeah. I just took okay. the diaper okay. and dump it. I, was like, I thought too that you were putting the diaper in. And I was like, do they, do they make diapers? You can start, you can start the using the, uh, <laughs> yeah. the reusable diapers. Oh, sure. But like, <laughs> I have a <laughs> lot of diapers. <laughs> um, so that they don't choose not, so that they're not yeah. like, oh my God, mm-hmm. there's something gross that you've said is icky and mm. I'm producing it. I'm afraid of it. Oh my God. I don't want to poop. No that's poop very shaming. common. Yeah. There's no poop shaming. No poop shaming. I do mm-hmm. find it very, it's, it's like, I have heard that and I, and I know that you're not supposed to say that poop is icky, but then when you've got a kid reaching for it and you're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. It's like, how do you explain no. quickly that you should not touch that? Yeah. You don't know? touch it. But don't also, touch- it's fine. Everybody poops. Every, but if yeah. you're like, just like, poop is good. Poop, 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 poop is good, don't but it's not it good burns. to eat or touch <laughs> yeah. or put in your eyes or on the walls or. No. Have you brought it full circle with Clem, your dog? Oh, oh, like they you, know they can poops. watch you. Oh. Obviously, mm-hmm. Clem's poops probably are not the smallest. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> they know that Clem poops. She poops in the yard. Mama poops in the potty. June and Poppy poop in their diapers, but they will learn to poop in the potty. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, we're I working on it. Best. But I want, <laughs> I want them to not do what you did, Becky, too. I don't want I don't them to. I think not it was because it was icky. Why did you choose not to? Don't you think bathrooms are icky? No. Isn't that your thing? Yeah. Well, I just, I think they're icky because of other people. Okay. Mm. Got yeah. it. Got it. Got it. Well, that, that part is real. I don't like strangers. Though I did see, well, it was on TikTok. So God knows if it's real, but they were um, saying about the like hovering versus sitting on the toilet. Mm-hmm. And they said, you actually shouldn't hover because you're ruining your, what you were, the pelvic thing, thing oh, you were talking about. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. The pelvic. Mm-hmm. Well, when I'm in lower muscles, or whatever. if I'm road tripping and we're going to a gas station or a rest stop, I'm hovering. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I do no. not have that kind of strength. I, I hover. don't hover because I, I always hover. thought if you like pooped or peed and it splashed back, you have <gasps> a better chance of it going in your cooter. That is terrifying. Oh. You know, because Maggie's here, just well, sitting here with the <laughs> widest eyes. She's like, I'm very regular. I like just go in the morning. So I'm usually still <laughs> home. And then I don't have to worry about what that later. I am jealous. I don't I don't think I've ever had to. I, I've never squatted and pooped. 
if I have to poop, I will sit because I don't <laughs> yeah. want it to splash. No, thank you. And then I'll just no splash. That scares me. And I'll just me. sort of, you know, there, there, there have been high. times just like. The I'm amount like, of times, are you like a speed pooper? Yeah. I'm oh, okay. I'm Rachel actually, is the pooper. shortest of the three of us. That's so she's true. Closer to the toilet. Mm, yeah. And I'm I'm fast. I don't go till I have to go. So it's like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, here if I, I miss my window, it, it 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 it's it's an issue for me. Then it's like it could be days. You know? Oh, yeah. No. It's, yeah. I know. Well, I and know. you had IBS. Mm-hmm, yeah. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. So so. I have to make sure that I'm in there like when it when the window mm-hmm. hits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's you have a poop, it's rough. Your poop schedule. I have my poop schedule. You know what's up? Mm-hmm. Yeah. At least I try to have a poop schedule. Yeah. There's it's all over the place. Yeah. But uh Maggie talked about uh pooping and texting on the toilet <gasps> the other oh, day. Yes, yes, I saw I that. have <laughs> been working on it. Good job. <gasps> no texting? Well, I mean, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not short saying text, I don't do it. Text. I'm not saying I don't do it. She's like, I but, read one article on the New but, York you know, Times like, now. But, you know, like, I do, I catch myself. I catch myself sitting there and scrolling, and I'm like, oh. Ariel, get your butt off the toilet. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. No. And then I'll stand up and scroll. <laughs> or, like, yeah, sit yeah, on yeah. The, uh, the bathtub. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I... No real simples. So I will say, uh, Maggie, I think about you when I poop now. Oh, I'm honored. Um, yeah. You're most, that's big love. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's big, big love. Your that's most sacred time. Than that. You think yeah. of me? That's it. Wow. <laughs> big I'm <love>. honored. <laughs> Uh, and I do kind of wonder how many other people out there are thinking oh, about you when they poop too. Oh yeah. man, sorry, Mags. Oh yeah. God, thanks for helping everyone. Oh, as long as it's yeah. helping, as long as it's helping. That's right. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for sitting <laughs> sitting with us and listening to that ride of an episode. Uh, <laughs> we talked about love, the Giving Tree, and poop. Be sure to email us at you can sit with us pod at gmail Be sure to rate us five stars on all platforms, um, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>